At five, a Hendricks County man faces a felony charge after a four-year-old and her grandmother were shot in a home in Avon. As CBS 4's Max Lewis explains, tonight prosecutors are trying to take that man's guns away. Both the girl and her grandmother are expected to survive after they were shot inside this home on Wednesday afternoon. Court documents reveal Brandon Smith was trying to sell a gun to his sister when the shooting took place. Just before 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, police say Clark was showing his sister multiple guns in his living room. Clark told police they were laid out on the couch, and after turning away for a second, his four-year-old niece picked up a Glock and fired off a shot, hitting herself and her grandmother, who was sitting across the room. It is a really bad gut feeling um, and to know that this is happening right across the street. Witnesses inside the home told police only one of the guns was in a holster and all of them were loaded with a bullet in the chamber. During an interview with police, Clark told them, quote, there's no point in having an unloaded pistol, but experts disagree. If you're transferring a firearm to another person, if you're loaning them the firearm, anything, it needs to be unloaded. Gun safety instructor Tim Tomich says nearly every incident like this one is preventable. He says the most important thing is keeping the gun unloaded until it's ready to be used and stored securely. When you purchase a new firearm, you're given a lock. It's a simple, very effective tool to keep a gun from being mishandled by a child. Tomich said gun owners, especially if they have children in the home, should also keep their gun in a safe or somewhere out of reach. He hopes this incident will serve as a lesson to everyone and a warning that it could have been so much worse. It could go south real fast. A bullet hasn't a thing to think about. It just reacts. And when it reacts, it goes in the direction that it's pointed at and that wherever it hits, it hits. As a gun owner, it's your responsibility to make sure that gun is secured properly. Clark made his initial court appearance this afternoon and at last check, he is still being held in the Hendricks County Jail. In Avon, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News.